Welcome, everybody, Woo! to Waterbox Live. It's the best day of the week. It is. We are here every week, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you smash that like button. It helps us out a lot. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit those notifications. This week, we are talking about um, adding corals to the Peninsula Mini 15 that we have a series on. Mm -hmm. Let's get it started, you guys. All right, we are back. It is week three of our four week build with the Peninsula Mini invert only yes. system. Peninsula Mini 15. Um, guys, so one thing you want to remember with this build, we are giving away this exact setup, the tank and the light at the end of the series. Um, I'm also today, I'm going to be giving away a couple of t-shirts and a towel set. Um, again, I didn't tell them that, but that's what we're doing. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's, can we pull up that website real quick? So if you guys head over to waterboxaquariums.com, this giveaway is available in the U.S., Canada, Europe, and the U.K. You got to sign up on our .com website specifically. Um, so if, once you head over there, there's going to be a form that you fill out. You can get more entries by subscribing to us on YouTube, following us on Instagram, visiting our website, and so on and so forth. So definitely head over there if you haven't already. If you're not following us on Instagram, you're kind of missing out. So you, you should be doing it We're anyway. We're very active on Instagram. Yes. So here's the page for you to do entries, put in all your information, and there's those action things you can do to get more entries into the giveaway. And also along with this is actually an invert pack from Worldwide Corals as well. Mm -hmm. So that's going in with that. And they're also doing gift card giveaways for every episode. Yeah, which we are giving away some gift cards today too, right? Yes, we have one gift card from Worldwide okay. Corals today. We are giving away as well as, as, well as the shirt and the towel. So um, last week, if you watched, was week two. We added our first batch of inverts. We put some shrimp in there, some crabs, um, you know, a little maxi mini in there just to kind of get it started. You know, you do have to take it somewhat slow in the very beginning of setting an aquarium. We talked about cycling, all those mm -hmm. things. So this week was time to add some corals in there. So it's going to be an invert only, but also with some like soft, easy type of corals yeah. in there. Um, so that's what's going in this week. And those actually came to us yesterday so mm -hmm. we could get them acclimated and in. So, you know, hopefully they're somewhat open for us to take and take a look at today. Yep. What I love about this build, Jess, is that it shows you even with a 15 gallon aquarium that you can set up a really nice saltwater aquarium that would even be pretty easy for a beginner. Um. Yes, yeah, so it's very pretty. We did uh, some custom rock work and um, you can see a little more in depth uh, last week's and then also the f week one is we actually put it together, filled it, showed the rock, kind of, you know, if your aquarium comes to you, everything that comes with it, how to set it up and get it filled. Mm -hmm. And um, so we decided to do something a little bit different with just focusing on inverts because they're really cool. There's tons of shrimp and crabs um, that sometimes you don't get to really a chance to appreciate in the bigger tanks. Mm -hmm. So having something smaller like the Peninsula Mini is a great aquarium to get some really neat little crabs and shrimp and stuff running around. Love it. All right. So yesterday, corals came. So we uh, shot some video of us unbagging and dipping. We're going to go through that one now. So we are dipping the corals. Um, we use Revive for this. There's quite a few. There's Coral RX, there's Revive, um, Iodine Dips. But we had this on hand, so we went ahead and used this. Um, just do a quick dip on the corals before they go in. Never a bad practice to do that. So just opening up some of the corals, dump the water into one bucket, took out the corals, and just moved them over into the dip. Is that a soft coral? Yes, yeah, so that was like a leather. So we're doing all soft corals in this aquarium, just for easy, mm -hmm. low maintenance. Um, you have another leather there. It's going in there, dip. So you see everything went in, you know, 10, 15 minutes, and they're ready to then go into the aquarium. Um, some of the plugs, I decided to take the bottom off. So I like they the way you did flat. that. I've never seen that done with a screwdriver. If, <laughs> yeah, I'm really fancy. If they're um, <laughs> certain, certain flag plugs, if they're made a certain way, they have like a weak point at that stem and you can actually knock them off um, mm -hmm. with a screwdriver, you know, fancy tools around your house. 
and did that with some of the ones I wanted to sit flat. And then all, all, not all plugs you can do that. You've got to have like bone cutters or a Dremel to cut them further. Right. Um, if there's certain types of plugs, but a lot of these I was able to knock the base off of. Went ahead and just kind of placed them around the aquarium. Of course, you got to kind of move them around after you put them in to see where they're the happiest flow, lighting, all of that. But you can see the rockscape, really cool Love arches. It. Very happy with how that turned out. So Love those it. all went in yesterday, giving them time and chance to acclimate in um, to show you guys today. So again, you guys, we're giving away a couple of shirts, some towels, and also a $25 Worldwide Corals gift card. And you can use that gift card to head over, if you head over to the website, WorldwideCorals.com, to pick up corals like you see here, mm -hmm. as well as invert packs. We're also giving away an invert pack um, well, last episode, right? Yep, along with the giveaway. So, so of all the inverts and corals this um, for this build are actually coming from Worldwide. So they're handpicking this stuff out for us, yep. um, which we appreciate greatly. And they're helping them with the gift cards, giveaways. So, you know, lots of things to win for everybody. There's a section on the website where they can see the invert parts that we got. So if they go to the page, they can scroll down and it's all there. Yeah, so if you guys go to the Peninsula Mini Build page, which you can get to right from there's a little blue bar that pops up on the top of the website you head over there it'll show you the invert packs there you go there you go it takes you right to it so they have a lot of different packs for beginners to depend on your size of your aquarium um check that out and of course all their beautiful corals are on there as well lots and lots and lots of corals yeah so we got a mix um a lot of what went into this um you know we're gonna be the soft corals like i said we want to focus on the inverts um easy maintenance type yeah. of deal and Kina was able to get some close-up shots of some of the corals earlier today. Not all of them are open all the way. We turned the lights on a little bit ahead of schedule for them, but we were able to get a few shots of everything kind of settled in. There it is, so, kind of starting to wake up. The light's a little bit dark still. These are one of my favorite. This is like the firecracker clove polyps. Mm -hmm. I love cloves. They come in a lot of different colors and they grow and spread really well. Nice movement, kind of frilly palm tree-ish looking, which yeah. is great for Florida. <laughs> Um, so this is probably my favorite coral that we got into this tank. You can see a little scarlet hermit oh, yeah, look at him hanging, hanging out behind them. So those will just grow. And got one of your different leathers here. It's gonna be a nice like mint green as it opens up. He's kind of shrunk down now, but it'll get like three times that big as he mm -hmm. opens up. A nice close up. It looks all bubbly right now. You can see a little shrimp antenna hanging out in the background. All of our inverts hide for video time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Rhodactus mushroom. So this one, um, if you see them like from top down, lots of orange, blue, reds in it. Very, very pretty. Um, kind of like a little textured look to them mm -hmm. for a mushroom. I think there's about two of those in here. Mushrooms are super easy, so it's a great coral to put into these. And there's another mushroom, like a green fuzzy. Love it. Yeah. I love, I love the simple things. You do. Soft corals are like your favorite <laughs> thing. So this is like right up your alley. Um, and this will spread really easily. They get pretty good size when they open all the way up. Mm -hmm. But it's nice. Um, I like the textured mushrooms because they're not that smooth locally. You can see a lot of them. Yeah. I like the little bubbly um, ones. And then you have a bright green leather here. And we have a lot. We use these in a lot of our aquariums. Like, I love these bright green yeah. kind of tree-like leathers. They add a lot of color. They're easy to keep. They grow pretty quick. So Yeah. Great and this color. one will get three times as big as he starts to settle in and get open. Um, and that's the Maxi Mini we put in last week with the anemone crab. Yeah. And our anemone crab sometimes chooses to be near it and sometimes chooses really? not to be. So, you know, what are you going to do? It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice orange um, color, has a little bit of red and like green on the undertones of it. But I'm hoping some of the other inverts we get in will also be part of like hosting on of it. And then your full tank shot. We've got some other zoos and star polyps and stuff in there that are, you know, opening and um, getting adjusted as well. Yeah. You don't want to add too much in one time. So right. um, there's probably like eight or nine little frags that we put in this week, which I feel like is plenty for mm -hmm. this time. You know, we're monitoring the water, testing everything to make sure it's good. We're still adding bacteria, which is important. Like once you set it up, you don't have to stop that. Like right. continue to add the bacteria in um, to keep it stable as you add more livestock in there. Yep. So. so I see just about 100 of you guys in here, and I would really appreciate it if all 100 of you hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. You know what happens when you hit the like button and mm -hmm. we get enough of them, we give things away. We do. Um, <laughs> We're working on a drum roll too. If there's if there's a hundred of you in here and there's not a hundred thumbs up, the math doesn't add up. 
<laughs> right. just doesn't add yeah. up. So hit the like. Um, you know, we'll do giveaways and all that stuff. So everyone wants a shirt. These shirts are so so comfortable. They are. They're awesome. They're like a tri blend. Super comfortable. We give a ton of these away. Do oh, and I think it's half our wardrobe here in the office most of the time. <laughs> um, that's actually what I was wearing yesterday in the acclimation video. I love that. Yeah. Like just so comfortable. Question. Yes. Questions. Question time. Steve Van Lewin says, do you always leave the coral on their plugs? It depends on the type of coral and how far it's grown onto the plug. If it's a soft coral and like say zoanthids or mushrooms and it has a rock under it that then is attached to the frag plug and none of it has grown over, you can easily pop that off the frag plug and put it mm -hmm. on right onto your rock. It's going to look better in the like short term that way. Um, and it's probably going to be easier for you to find places to put it. If it is something that's encrusting or a soft coral, like a leather or zoos or anything that have actually grown onto the plug, you don't want to do that because you're definitely going to damage it. So it really depends on how far the growth is of the coral. But if it hasn't touched the plug itself, pop it off, glue it or uh, epoxy it right to the rock is no problem. Thank you, Stephen. There it is. Hey. John Corky says, if you only have, it, if have LPS, no fish, do you recommend a skimmer? Um, you probably don't have to, but it depends. Like if you want to spot feed them a lot, like you have acans and blastos, mm -hmm. um, scalemias, and you spot feed a lot because they're, they're very hungry coral and you want them to grow faster and you're feeding a lot, you still have a lot of waste product. Um, so, you know, it really depends on what your nitrates look like. And if you, you know, want to limit the amount and size of water changes. But if you're like going in there and I know some people like they've got an LPS tank and every single day they're in there feeding yeah, yeah. chunks of krill, mysis, you're going to have just as much fish weight, like waste as you would if you had a whole tank right. full of fish. So depends on your feeding, I guess. But skimmers yeah. are always beneficial. Yeah. If you can put it in there, put it in there. Yeah. Travis Andrews, are all the corals you are, are putting in going to grow from the light or will you need to dose? Um, they're all soft corals, so they're going to filter feed and feed off the light. And we're going to, on small tanks, like I prefer just to do a couple gallon water change once a week and just replenish it that way versus trying to like dose so precisely right, right. for alkalinity and calcium and stuff like that. We will still feed um, coral food to the system, of course, but I try not to dose in small systems if you don't have to, especially soft corals. Fire. It's coming. Got fire trucks. Come on. Is this the first time we got a fire truck in the background? I feel like it is. I'm getting a lot of ambulances, yeah. I feel like, a lot of times in this area. All right. <laughs> you got this one. <laughs> Trevor says, how many corals can you add to the aquarium at a time? Depends on the size. Um, yeah, if you're talking about the 15, just about as many as we did. Yeah, that's probably maxing it out. And that's like eight to nine really small frags. Like, they're not big. Um, you know, the leathers are probably the biggest thing that we put in there. And they're super hardy. But you want to pace yourself. Like, this tank's... Uh, this is a four week series it's not going to be booming full by four weeks because that's just not possible in an aquarium like you're not going to have a fully established mm -hmm. and um chock full of corals so you know a lot of times in a small tank like this limit yourself to five or six bigger tank you can also of course add more so it's going to just depend on the size but i think a budget kind of keeps you in check a lot of times too yeah, yeah. yeah true it's funny because it, people really know that what's in our cups by this point Jean kua says what are y'all drinking today Margaritas. margaritas. It's margarita yeah, you're actually doing a margarita this yeah. time. You usually don't. So yeah. um, margaritas all around because it's one yeah. of the best things ever. So it's water. Keenan's got it. Guys, we don't drink here. Come on. What? <laughs> <laughs> Mead says, I bought a colony of candy cane coral that has one abstacia. Should I remove the coral or get a peppermint shrimp? Um, neither. Yeah. So <laughs> That's um, <laughs> yeah, I mean pepper shrimp, peppermint shrimp have some chance at picking at corals. It is not like a common thing but it is a risk and um, removing the coral that seems like a waste for the coral use got another fire drop yep. um, use an aptasia killer there's a lot of products out there on the market it's going to be your best bet if my suggestion is probably take the coral out put it in a bucket treat it for the aptasia mm -hmm. and then put it back in so that you don't have to do it in the tank um, but if it's in the tank and like glued in a spot just go ahead and do it inside the system but Peppermint shrimp, I think, have too high of a risk of picking it stuff. And if you, if know, you, if don't, you don't have, have a real have problem that. with abstasia, too, there's not really any point. There's tons of products. Go over to Amazon, search abstasia, 
you know, killer or something like that. And, yeah. Um, there's a ton of stuff that works really well. Uh, head over to our Facebook group, ask those guys what they use. Um, when we deal with it here, we, we'll go in there and we're mm -hmm. zapping them because they, they, it's they part of having on. an aquarium. Like, yeah, you can't it avoid it. You will have them at some point. Like you said, if you don't have a big problem, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. um, you know, use something more manual, like an Aptasia killer. If you have an outbreak and a ton of baby ones and they're in between corals where you can't really put that kind of product, definitely peppermint shrimp in that instance outweigh their risk by the benefit of them eating the Aptasia. Yeah. So. Modest reefing for you. Which tank do you recommend for dwarf seahorses? I guess it depends on what, if we're talking about like the little pygmy pygmy ones or like that size or if we're actually talking like just the kind of medium dwarf like generic ones that you can get. If you're talking about the pygmy little seahorses that stay really small, um, A, they're really, really hard to keep. Most, success, most people are not successful with them so I do kind of recommend not going that direction. If you're looking for the smaller captive raised ones, I'd say like 20, 30 gallons. Um, but you want generally more height than you do like length and stuff because you want stuff that they can kind of grab onto. Um, Gargonians or fake inserts and stuff work really well for them. So it does depend on the species of seahorses. Some of them get really big. They yeah. need a big, big tank for. And always try and get captive bred because they're gonna eat easier. They're gonna live longer for you. We should do a seahorse tank sometime. I don't know if Keenan's going to put this question up, but i got to answer it. Oh Scott God. says, does Waterbox have a good frag tank? Not very deep with a sump. Of course we do. It's called the frag. <laughs> <laughs> All the way up to six foot. Yes. we got a three, four, five, and six foot frag. That's the name of the range. Um, so you hop over to our website, over, over, over saltwater, go right over to frag. You can see those tanks. And Beautiful, you go very back, popular system. Yeah, and you actually go back. A couple months. There you go. Um, right there. there you go. Oh, she's a pretty. Available in the U.S., Canada, U.K., Europe, as well as many other countries that we have distributors in. Get yourself a frag. Yeah. Um, and if you actually go back in our videos on YouTube, you actually see a couple months ago. How many months has that? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I have no point. concept of time. Um, <laughs> a while ago, time we work. did a 10-week build on a frag one of 5.4, so the four-foot model. Decked it out with coral, beautiful aquascape. It's still, I mean, it's gorgeous out in our lobby still. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, we got to do Absolutely a check in amazing. on that sometime. We do, we do. We'll probably do that soon. But you can see it a little bit better. There you hey! Go. I go to WB Studio, and when you go to WB Studio, we have a serious section. You can get a guide to setting up a reefer. There you go. So, guys, and this is great information for anybody that's in here that doesn't know. If you're on waterboxaquariums.com, specifically up top, there's a little bit of a logo there. It says WB Studio, Waterbox Studios. You hit there, we have all of our build series listed out. We also have a blog post for every episode that has happened or is coming up, as well as some other news related <clears throat> um, items. So definitely head over there and you can view all those series. There you go, right at your fingertips. Yeah. Subscribe also, YouTube, you'll get the yes. whole playlist, everything. Make sure you hit that notification bell because we are here every Wednesday at 6 p.m. We are. Eastern. Yeah, so next week we're actually going to add more inverts to yeah. the peninsula. Um, you know, because the inverts can be a little bit more sensitive, we had to kind of sequence it out. So next week we're going to add um, a handful more yeah. to bring a lot more life into it as far as some unusual stuff. Um, Worldwide is working hard to find us some cool inverts to add into this for um, the next show. And I'm excited to see what we come up with because I personally love inverts. Yes, this is a really cool tank. It's not as active as a lot of the other ones, but it's a really neat kind of like themed setup. Yeah, sometimes I'm learning that I appreciate tanks that aren't as busy. The yeah. stuff in the water column, mm -hmm. like sometimes like, because the frag, we, we limited it because it is a lot of LPS and we like to spot feed them. So we limited the amount of fish and stuff in there. Um, and I kind of like that serene, just like mm -hmm. peacefulness to it. So this is going to have a lot of the same except for some shrimp and stuff running around. So I think it's definitely something cool to do with um, something smaller, especially if you have another big tank that's got lots of big fish. Yeah. It's kind of fun to have a nano that focuses on like different yeah, stuff that specific, you would never be able to appreciate animals. in a bigger tank. Yeah. 100%. The, uh, let's see, wait a second. I just saw a post that I wanted to. Marcus says, I think it was Marcus, says, when's your next giveaway? It's at the right end now. Of, it's into the, it's at the <laughs> well, end yeah. of the show. <laughs> End of this show, and then you've got a big giveaway at the end of the series. Oh, yeah, we're, guys, we give away stuff on Waterbox Live 
almost basically every week, big or small. Yeah, we do. And it's because we appreciate you guys so much for joining us here. So, should we do one of these giveaways? We should. I don't know what they have I don't going know. on I'll over there. I got your shirts ready. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we have some winners ready for these wonderfully comfortable water box aquariums logo tees. Lift it up for you. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Are we doing it, Jamal? Do I have it? Yeah, hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, anyway, like... we're working on it. Um... <laughs> All right, so guys, t-shirt giveaway. Good? I thought you told us to go. <laughs> All right, let me take a sip. Three, two, three. Winners are... Pete Labou and Paul Shockley. Congratulations. Woo! Congratulations, guys. Email support at waterboxaquariums.com. Um, they will confirm your identity through a series of really intensive security <laughs> checks. <laughs> and you will receive your wonderful T-shirt. <laughs> I'm going to scare them away. I'm going to come to your house. I'm very now. Um, these are very prize shirts yes. here. Yes, they are. There, you will love it. So, yeah, email support. They'll get you taken care of on that one. And then... I don't know. They're working on something else. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I say NC474. Love my shirt. Good luck, guys. Because there's the most comfortable thing ever. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that weren't in here earlier. Uh, thankfully, we appreciate you guys being here. I'm asking you guys to smash that like button. Helps us out a lot. And if you aren't already, subscribe and hit that notification bell because we're here every single week. We are. We are. And it's always something good. Yeah. We're I got to say. Rain or shine. <laughs> Rain or shine. One towel back. Yes. All right, we have a winner for one towel pack, ready to go. Hello. Winner is Daniel Torres. Congratulations. You get a three pack of, maybe, three pack of these, <laughs> ah, attack of the worldwide card. Three pack of these microfiber worldwide coral, uh, water box aquariums towels. Yeah, we use these all around mm -hmm. here on all of our tanks. They're really good. When you have an aquarium, you gotta have towels around. So even if you didn't win one of these today, head over to our website, you get a three pack for like 10 bucks. Yeah, so microfiber is really nice because whenever you're cleaning off your aquarium and it's got all those smudges from salt water mm -hmm. um, and you're like, this never comes clean, the microfiber is really the material that you want to yeah. kind of polish it and get all those little streaks and marks off. Um, that's what we use here on all of our aquariums to get all the um, glass nice and clean on the outside. So microfiber is your friend. Yes, it is. And especially the Waterbox Aquarium's branded microfiber towels. Because <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> it's we like everything Waterbox here. What's going on? What's going on? Are we going straight into the gift card? Or, or do you we have questions? Take some more questions. Kim's like, so. I'm really busy over here. <laughs> Go ahead and take some questions if you got them over there. <laughs> what has Why more space, a Waterbox Peninsula tank or a cube? Oh, P Mini versus Peninsula Mini versus a cube. Well, I mean, technically the gallon sizes are bigger. Yeah. So, like, you've got your 10 for a cube, a 15 for a peninsula, a 20 for a cube, and 25 for a peninsula. So, technically, you, the peninsulas are larger. Yeah. Um, but you're, it depends on, yeah, I mean, gallon size is bigger, but you do have to have the right spot. Like, you put a mm -hmm. peninsula, uh, you know, against something, it's not going to have the same effect or thing yeah. as, as if you had, like, a cube. So... Use yeah. whatever is best. And yeah, so and also the way you aquascape is gonna be a bit different. So you really have to think about do you want like it really just goes back to you want the peninsula style that's longer and skinnier? Right. Or do you want something that's you know, a square? We yeah, it's, it all depends on where you want to put it. If you're it's putting preference. it on a desk and you need to see it this way, you know, it's gonna have a certain thing. Um, if you've got the right divider on like a counter or something like that, I think peninsula is awesome. Because we have a lot of fun with the scape on those. If you guys didn't win a shirt, we also have these available on the website as well. I think they're like 15 bucks or 20 bucks. Or... I don't know. Yeah, 15? I don't, mean, I don't I think 15. Know. Either way, <laughs> for a t-shirt, it's really good. <laughs> uh, we got somebody asking, I'm not throwing it up, but do you guys uh, make custom aquariums? So, oh, that's a loaded question. Oh. Keenan, there's too many people in here for that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> trying to buy some time. <laughs> <laughs> so I will tell you that Waterbox does make custom aquariums. We do not do it in the USA just yet. Just yet is the key word. So um, 
not right now, but you know, keep an eye out. The sky's the limit with here at Waterbox because what we do is make glass aquariums, so you never know what's coming down the road. You never know. Um, I gotta say that Pete says, "How come I'm so excited about a shirt? Because it's Waterbox. Yeah, that's man. why. And because you won. Because you <laughs> tuned in. I think it's very exciting. Um, everyone's saying congratulations to all the winners. So, like I said, we're always putting, we're always giving stuff away, mm -hmm. like every episode." Um, I can't Plus, wait to hear about what you guys are laughing about back there. I know, they're, 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 for the they're amused over there. I don't know what they keep looking at us and laughing, so uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're giving away a $25 gift card to Worldwide Corals. We have the winner pulled. Um, who is the lucky winner? We Ready? Woo! Mike, uh, Michelle Torton. Turton. Turton. One of those. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations, Michelle. Again, email support at waterboxaquariums.com. Send in your social security number. And, no. Address, <laughs> totally bank kidding. account totally numbers. Totally kidding. Uh, just email them, say, hey, I want on YouTube. This is my handle, and we'll get you hooked yep, up. Yeah, they'll get you verified and everything, get you set up worldwide. We'll then get in touch with you for the gift card. So um, get some pretty inverts, corals. They've got everything. Um, you know, if you're local, you even get to go see them. Yeah. We're lucky enough to have them local. We are. We, we are. are. Not everyone's that lucky, but they offer everything online, so you are good. Yeah, you don't even have to be here in Orlando. You can, you can get it, just any coral that's in that store online. Some of the things that aren't even in the store that are online. They so. do. They do have specialized things for, they've got, um, you know, they have a lot of auctions and online stuff. So mm -hmm. pretty much anything you could want, you can find it on their website. So. And, and again, you guys, if you're in the market for a water box, water box is sold direct in the U.S., Canada, Europe and the UK. We also have distributors in Australia, New Zealand, uh, all over Southeast Asia. I'm trying to try to keep going here. India, Pakistan, United Arab Emirates, uh, Malaysia, Hong Kong, yada yada yada. Wow, that's a lot. Over 40 countries. You know so if you're looking for a water box, you know what we need no is we need shortage. all the countries and stuff we're in, and it like does like a scrolling thing yeah, up the screen. Yeah, yeah. Can you do that, that real cool. quick? Like, <laughs> yeah, just do yeah. that real quick. <laughs> like, available and it goes all over the screen. Yeah. I think at this point, because there's so many, yeah. which is great, it's amazing. Um, we just need like that whole like yeah. flowing list. Only we can record your voice going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just speed it up. Or I don't know if I can speak that <laughs> fast. Oh, talking of shirts. We do have a new shirt that's available. Yes. I think yes, we just yes. talked about it last week. Can you pull that up too, Keenan? I can pull it up on site. Okay. You know, while you're doing that, back on the distributor topic real quick, if you guys head over to waterboxaquariums.com, go to the bottom of the page, you can find our distributors as well as our dealers throughout the world. Yes, so we always talk about the knowledges on yes. this show. Um, that's, what, that's what we do, we drop knowledge. We do, we drop knowledge. Well, Jess drops knowledge. I just kind of hang out. You got some, you got some knowledge. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've kind of let this knowledge just think. So we actually now have the knowledge shirt by popular demand. They have asked that this goes on a shirt. It is now a thing. Yeah. Um, you can go onto our website and actually get them for the saltwater and freshwater version mm -hmm. of the knowledges. Yep. So, so check it get, out. It in says the get swag. your knowledges. Yep. Because that's what we do. We're dropping knowledges on Waterbox Live every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Learn something new every week, you know? Yeah. Keep your brain active. So. I, I really learn something every new every week when you're talking because you have <laughs> far too much. I don't want to call it, say it's Even too much. Even Rick gets so, his knowledges every week. I do, I do. <laughs> She's got so much experience. There's it's a crazy. lot of information stuck in his brain about <laughs> fish things, so I'm here to share it every week with you. Yeah. So we appreciate you guys being here. Again, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, um, and we will see you next week. Back next week. See ya. Thank you all for watching. Remember, we're live on Facebook and YouTube, so make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and hit those notifications. We're live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us next week. Thanks for watching.